No, you're fine. Right there. Hey, everybody. I'm here at the 2019 Pathfinder Gathering. Seriously, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Looper roll. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm at the 2019 Pathfinder Gathering. I'm sitting here with Matt Mercer, who is also known as Black Hat Bushcraft. The question I have for him is the same question I have for everybody, which is, what got you hooked on bushcraft? And I just knew you were gonna say, why are you not wearing a black hat? That's been the number one question I've been asked all weekend. I like your question a lot better. So bushcraft, um, ever since I was a little kid, I've always been into being in the outdoors. When my cousin and I were probably six, seven years old, we used to go around barefoot, run into the cornfields, and we would go out into the woods. We were big into fishing, so we always wanted to be by the water, casting the fishing pole in. And then we got into camping. We got, uh, we started buying like old Boy Scout equipment, old Army surplus equipment. And like the funnest thing for us to do on a weekend was to pack up some foods and canned food, go out into the woods somewhere, make what we call forts, shelters, and uh, and set up and cook food on a on a little sterno stove. Like I still got my original sterno stove. We would sit there and cook in the Boy Scout mess kit and stuff, and that was just like the most fun for us and it's just kind of evolved from that I just love to be in, in the woods and uh, as I got uh, I guess more experienced instead of just being in the woods and you know setting up a fort or something I started wanting to know like what different trees were or what different plants were and how I could use different resources and the more I started to learn those types of things the more I started to seek more knowledge with that like a lot of us out here at the Pathfinder gathering I kind of connected with Dave and I started to follow him and uh, I started to want to go to the school. I didn't want to just watch videos, so I ended up coming to Path Under School, training with Dave, and, uh, and here, here I am now at this point, have become an instructor. Uh, it's just kind of, it's just been one progression after the other, but that's where it started. Really. Just as a kid, running around in the woods, making forks, and carrying around army surplus packs, <laughs> and I still do that too. But. <laughs> But you do it in front of a camera. But I do it in front of a camera sometimes. Uh, sometimes I just do it in no camera because, you know, it's fun to just get out there and relax. But uh, but it is fun to do it on the camera too because by doing that, making videos, I connect with people like you and a lot of other people out here have had a chance to actually meet face-to-face -face this weekend, which is huge because when you meet people that you have a, that same passion at, you know, we share the same passion of being in the woods and bushcraft and cooking on the fires and just this kind of thing, it's neat to connect with those other people and so by doing YouTube videos, that's what I've gotten from that, is that being a part of a bigger community is like me. Awesome. So guys, again, Matt Mercer from Blackhead Bushcraft, go check him out, awesome YouTube channel and he's an instructor at the uh, Pathfinder School, so go check him out. Thanks a lot, man. I Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. That was fun. Tick, 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 boom. Okay, so who are you? I'm Christiana Burley, and I'm Jamie Burley's wife, and I'm also one of the volunteers I'm with the National Pathfinder Youth Organization. You're like the better half of Jamie Burley. The better half, yes, I could agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> So the National Pathfinder Youth Organization, what is it and uh, what do you guys do? It is a 503C, I think is the correct term for the, t the tax exemption. Um, so it's a, not a charitable organization and we it was started by Dave Got and his mom, stick. I'm not sure how many years ago, but they have a class curriculum that's based off the 10 C's and the phase one of the Pathfinder School and the basic class. And it's been going, oh, I don't know, a few years. We currently have three active chapters. Um, there's one in Indianapolis, which Jamie Burley is the chapter leader there. And then we have Matt Mercer, who is the Mount Zion chapter leader in North Carolina. And we have Pastor Mike Kilpatrick, who is the Lighthouse chapter leader in North Carolina also. Matt Giddings is the field operations manager, and he's in Ohio, northern Ohio. And he is supposed to be getting a new chapter going soon. And then we also have a chapter that is kind of on hold right now in Florida. I think it's Kevin Jackson is the chapter leader there, but he had some health issues, so he's taking a break right now. But hopefully as soon as he gets back going, he'll get, get a group going again. Um, basically when it was started, it was to help youth that might not get the opportunities to be out in more kind of an urban setting or lower income or 
kids like that that don't get the opportunities to go with their families or their parents or relatives to go out in the, in the woods or out to events. What did you, I know you, this weekend was chock full of activities. You guys had tons and tons of stuff going on. I know you guys had uh, butter making. We did butter making and ice cream making this year. Those are both a hit. Ice cream is always a hit with the kids. This is the <laughs> third year we've done ice cream making and the sign up is right to the max every time. <laughs> Other than. So, um, if there was somebody watching this and they said, hey, I want to get my kid involved in the, uh, the National Pathfinder Youth Organization, how would they go about doing it? Where can we find you guys online, um, YouTube, stuff like that, or if you guys have a presence at Facebook? We so. do, we do. We have a Facebook page, which is the Pathfinder Youth Organization, and then we also have a website, which is the National Pathfinder Youth Organization. Um, so either one of those places. The most current, up-to-date information would probably be on the Facebook page because I run it. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than that, um, you can always call the store and talk to Sanj because she's the president of the youth. So she's she's always available for questions. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I know you're busy. I'll let you get back to okay to, to doing what you're doing. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for everything that you're doing for the uh, for the youth and our, and our next generation. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yep. Uh, my name's Randy Smith, and I am the owner of Stitch Gear Outfitters. Um, we do a range of uh, some gun stuff, some bushcraft stuff. Uh, we've got some very unique items. We do a multi-carry, we call this a six-way sheath. Uh, so this can be worn vertical or horizontal, left and right-handed. So you're getting a pretty good bang for your buck there. Um, this is our sheath that I designed for the William Collins survival knife but there again I have uh, adapted this to a lot of different knives you look at the back that can be worn vertical or horizontal and it can also go left and right handed the attachments out here on the front you've got the Altoids tin you've got an easy lap rod sharpener a half inch ferro rod and a streamlight flashlight I think it is stream light we were just I forgot <laughs> <laughs> this so. is a waterproof tinder bag um, and water just, waterproof not water resistant well water, water resistant, resistant because um, it is hard to waterproof leather but I mean you can submerge it it's not gonna get it's not gonna get wet if, if no you, yeah. uh, in the testing and developing we uh, completely submerged this bag for the first hundred for one minute in a five gallon bucket and out of those hundred we never our tender never got wet to where we couldn't start a fire you might get a small leak but that's all you're gonna get you're not gonna get any um, you're not gonna get enough water to penetrate uh, to, to truly affect it right awesome. and this is probably the only product that I produce that could save somebody's life so it's, it's kind of special for us well, I appreciate it, man. That's awesome stuff. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you much. Thank you. Have a good man. You too. Thank you.